Martin with the Deseret News and KSL. Good morning. Welcome to Sunday Edition. I'm Dave McCann. The Utah Department of Health is teaming up with doctors to combat the serious problem of opioid abuse. The initiative, Don't Guess, Assess. And here to discuss the program, Dr. Trish Barris, a psychologist and assistant professor at the University of Utah, and Dr. Mark Babbitts, medical director for Health Clinics of Utah, as well as the deputy director of the Utah Department of Health. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Good morning. Thank you for having us. So I like that. Don't guess, assess. Let's dive into that a little bit. What, what does it mean? Well, when a patient comes to see us, we like to think that our clinical judgment was adequate to determine the safety of, say, an opioid prescription. And the honest truth is it's not. So we don't need, we shouldn't guess, we should use tools that help us accur accurately assess the patient's status and their risk for using opioids. And also a big part of the opioid problem is mental health. Yeah. And it, we need to psychologically assess them so we know what's going on. Let's talk about risk assessment, what that is and how you do it. Risk assessment is finding what factors make someone a higher risk for certain things. Yeah. So for example, we know that a high salt diet and not exercising overweight is a risk factor for hypertension. Risk factors for opioid abuse, abuse includes things like Dr. Barris said, like psychological problems, but also a history of drug abuse, a family history of drug abuse, use of alcohol, cigarettes, other addicting substances, all those things would contribute. If I'm a pain patient or I have a loved one who's a pain patient, what, what can I do? Ask your doctor to do a risk assessment on you before he prescribes opioids. He needs to know what's going on with you psychologically and be able to d deal with that first. What about mental health strategies? What have you seen in your work? Well, you know, mindfulness, meditation, um, dealing again with depression and anxiety, um, positive self-talk, um, a lot of different things would help. And is that a, an alternative? Do you see it working as opposed to, to taking a pill? Yes, I, I think we're used, to, we're a society that's used to taking medicine and pills and so people don't think it's gonna work, but a lot of times it's mentally a problem and we have to deal with those problems first. As you work at, uh, in the, across the state clinics with the uh, psychological risk assessments, what progress have you seen doctors make with patients? Uh, I've seen some, it's just beginning, but I've seen some. We actually are using a tool at our Salt Lake Clinic that actually Dr. Barris and her husband have developed. Uh, they call it the ORS, the opioid abuse risk survey, but it actually includes two major psychological surveys, one for anxiety, one for depression, and then it surveys all the major risk factors for opioid abuse, and it gives you, a, which is nice for me, it gives me a score. Someone's score is low, medium, or high risk for opioids, and a score for their anxiety level and their depression level, and I'm going to quote Dr. Barish, people have emotional pain besides physical pain, and emotional pain adds to physical pain, so if I can identify that high depression or high anxiety, then I can treat their emotional pain, which will reduce their need for physical pain medicine. Was that a direct quote? Did you do a good job? You did a really good okay, job. Good. <laughs> it does seem that the state is waking up to this opioid crisis like, like never before. The doctors involved and all, all down the, the chain to, to the people who take the uh, prescription drugs. Do, do you feel we're heading to the area we should be in and dealing with this? Yeah, slowly. Yeah. But, you know, we're doing that. You know, as a psychologist, and I have to just say this, this is so important to me. Because if someone comes into my office for bariatric surgery, I have to do a risk assessment on them. Yeah. And, and we need to do that for people who are on opioids or who do, are going to take opioids because of pain. And are people surprised when you give them their assessment back and they go, well, I, didn't, I didn't know that I had that issue? Do you find that they're surprised with their problems? Sometimes, yeah. but usually people pretty much know, but they may not be able to assess and say, I have depression. They may say it's something else. All right, Dr. Barris, Dr. Babbitts, thank you for both being here and, and appreciate your effort in dealing with, with this issue, which we will continue to cover on KSL and in the Desert News. Thank you thank for coming. You.